After months of waiting, the Federal Aviation Administration finally looking to set up unmanned aerial vehicle testing sites. It's a move forward that could move hundreds of thousands of jobs to the Miami Valley if our area gets picked. News Center 7's Kate Marley live with how people here hope to sell the FAA on this. Kate? The Miami Valley's always prided itself on being a leader in aviation. Now the Dayton Development Coalition's putting together a proposal to convince the FAA to bring more technology here. For an unmanned aviation vehicle, Release power up. it's amazing how many men and women it takes to get one of these off the ground. Yeah, and those are jobs the Dayton Development Coalition is eager to bring to Dayton and Springfield. Remember, it's a $94 billion industry in the next five years. By some estimates, it's even greater than that. And so to secure a piece of a place is vitally important for an aerospace leader like Ohio and like the Dayton region. We talked to Joe Zeiss back in November. That was right after the FAA delayed picking the six testing sites because members said they needed to look into privacy concerns. Recently, U.S. representatives like Mike Turner told the agency to focus on safety and to leave privacy to the legislature. Today, Turner told our partners at the Dayton Daily News, a selection of a location in our community for one of these sites will mean new jobs untold economic development and a foothold in an emerging industry. The UAVs will be used for jobs like flying over forest fires and crime surveillance. The FAA says it'll pick test sites based on factors like geography, climate, population and air traffic density. The six testing sites will help federal officials learn how UAVs work in different environments and how it will impact air traffic operations. They're supposed to be set up by September of 2015, so people here are hoping the FAA will make a decision soon. Those proposals are due May 6th. You can pick up a copy of tomorrow's Dayton Daily News to learn more about the UAV projects already going on in the Miami Valley and how a new testing site would impact the economy here. Kate Bartley, News Center 7.